Hello, curious minds. Welcome to our magical journey through the world of matter. Today, we're going to explore the three main states of matter: solids, liquids, and gases. Get ready for a fun and exciting adventure into science. Everything around us is made of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. There are many different kinds of matter, and they can behave in some pretty interesting ways. Let's start with solids. Solids are firm and hold their shape. They don't flow like liquids or gases. This is because the particles in a solid are packed closely together and don't move around much. Let's look at some examples. Everyday solid objects like a table, ice, toys, and even a car. Next up, liquids. Liquids can flow and take the shape of their container. This happens because the particles in a liquid are close together, but can move around freely. Let's see how this works. Look at the water being poured into different shaped containers. Now, let's flow up to gases. Gases are all around us, like the air we breathe. In a gas, the particles are spread out and move around quickly. That's why gases can fill any space they're in. Look at the balloon expanding with air. That's gas. Did you know matter can change from one state to another? This is called a change of state. Heat can turn solids into liquids and liquids into gases. Cooling can do the opposite. Let's explore how. Can you see the liquid being frozen and turning into a solid? Freezing happens at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When water reaches this temperature, it begins to freeze and transforms into ice, a solid state. Then, when ice is exposed to heat, it melts and turns back into water, taking on a liquid form. When water reaches its boiling point at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, it begins to evaporate, transitioning into the gas state. We've seen how amazing and versatile matter can be in its different states. Remember, everything around you is made of matter, and now you know a little more about how it works. Keep exploring and stay curious.